Hello, my name is Gabe Zola. I'd like to take a few minutes this afternoon to talk about Fox News. And, you know, that's a station that I probably watched uh, pretty much every day for the last four years because they were very informative and they kept me, for the most part, aware of what uh, was going on with the president and the election. One um, thing that bothered me about Fox News is uh, that they have three guests that they invite on a fairly regular basis. And one of those guests is also a co-anchor of one of their shows, The Five. And uh, I stopped watching Fox News about an hour before the presidential election concluded. And I hadn't turned them on again until today. And the reason I turned them on today is that I wanted to see what was going on with General Petraeus. I heard at the gym this morning that he was going to testify. And uh, everyone hoped that he'd be truthful and appeared that he was. And he did say, uh, according to what the media reported, uh, that... Uh, he knew it was a terrorist act, and his reports stated that. Uh, he also said that the reports were revised. He never said who revised them, but on February the 14th, he gave a different story than he did on February the 11th. In either case, uh, I don't want to talk about uh, Benghazi. I want to talk about Fox News. The uh, industry that Fox News is in is a $60 billion industry for advertisers. And so there's an awful lot of money to be made, and there's a lot of money not to be made. And a lot of the other stations like ABC, NBC that are losing their viewership are starting to find it more difficult to make the kind of money that they used to make. And I think the same thing is going to happen to Fox News, or already has happened to Fox News to a certain degree. And that is because people that watch Fox News or watch Fox News don't enjoy hearing Juan Williams, Alan Combs, Bob Beckel constantly bashing the Republicans. They never have a good word to say about anything other than Obama. And then putting Bob Beckel onto the five, I don't see how that helps the five. And the reason I say that is that uh, he's very boorish when he's on. And I was amazed. I mean, I heard him say the F word. And most people that say the F word are probably banned from being on television. But he wasn't, and he isn't. And I think Fox News might benefit significantly if what they do is they uh, run a survey, ask their viewers how they feel about having Bob Beckel, Alan Combs, and uh, Juan Williams removed from your shows. I think you'll get an overwhelming, resounding support. They really don't add any value. And, you know, I know you try to portray this fair and balanced, but that only works when people are fair and balanced. And some of the people that you have on your show that are regulars, they're fair and balanced. They might be more conservative, but they'll still talk and they'll still agree with other points, not only conservative points, whereas Williams, Beckel, and Combs never do. Uh, they just never do. Uh, Geraldo Rivera, with him you never know what he's going to come out of his mouth. I mean, sometimes he goes one direction, sometimes he goes another direction. He, I think, is a very fortunate person. I don't see a whole lot of talent. He just got lucky being where he is, where he was at the right time. Um, you know, there's no real talent there. There's, there's just, he got lucky. But anyway, w what I think Fox News should do is, what I've already said they should do, and that is uh, do a survey. See what the American people think. Your viewership is critical to your success, and I firmly believe your viewership, me being one of them, has declined. And it's not declined because we don't like listening to what you have to say. We don't like listening to what those three people have to say. So, do the right thing after you've done your survey. Thanks.